welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. Today is a rainy Monday, but it's a good Monday because today is Bank Holiday Monday. Again, I'm sure people will ask what Bank Holiday Monday is. We've kind of discussed it before, nobody's really sure, but either way, I don't have to go to work on a Bank Holiday Monday. So, I was able to go to Sainsbury's earlier this morning, and I'm super excited because I'm actually going to watch the film that I picked up from Sainsbury's today. I'm going to watch it this afternoon, so I'm really excited. It's kind of the perfect bank holiday movie film. I feel like bank holidays usually have the Sunday type of feel. So it's like a Sunday type of feel movie. Um, oh, I nearly showed you what it was, but I haven't even shown you the Sainsbury's clip yet. So, let's head off to Sainsbury's and then I'll show you guys what I picked up. Let's go! <laughs> Sainsbury's is of course the Guernsey Literary Potato Peel No, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Pie Society. No, Potato Peel Pie. It's a very difficult title. Um, but yeah, I'm really really looking forward to this one. It's set during World War II and it's based around a book club and it just looks uh, really up my street. I hope I haven't hyped myself up too much for it. Uh, it's got Lily James in and I really like her. I'm just really looking forward to it. So I'm going to watch this this afternoon. So I'll definitely be talking about it in my August what I watched um, because we've still actually got a week left of August so yeah plenty of time to watch this one um, I'm really looking forward to it. Now today uh, Tully also came out which I feel like people might have thought I was picking up. I haven't fully looked at the guesses yet but I know a lot of people did actually guess this one so I was really happy because I was a bit worried uh, people were going to guess wrong but I know quite a lot of people did guess this one and um, we'll get to that later but yeah Tully also came out today and I thought it was kind of interesting but I wasn't super interested to watch it yet. I kind of went into a bit of a long discussion about it last week and so I feel like maybe that gave quite a bit of clue that that wasn't the one I was picking up. But if you have seen that one I would be really interested in your thoughts. Now you guys know I was only picking up one movie today but I did pick up a bonus movie because I didn't know it was coming out today, I didn't know much about it and then I saw it in the shop, I saw the cast and then I read the back and I'd heard an advert for it a while ago and then I just really Fancy picking this one up. So, I picked up Ghost Stories. This also came out today. Uh, the main reason I wanted to pick it up is because it's got Martin Freeman in. I really like Martin Freeman and it's a British movie and it just sounds really interesting. It's about this guy who investigates in these different paranormal cases. I think it's kind of split up into like sections and things. So yeah, I'm kind of in the mood for this type of movie at the moment because the weather is changing and things like that. So I thought, yeah, I'll pick this one up because I definitely know I'll watch it in the short future. Again, probably We'll try and watch this one in August because I am a little bit behind on the Monday movie hunts but I'm really in the mood for this one at the moment so I want to watch it while I'm still excited about it. It has got a, a certified fresh Rotten Tomatoes thing. I did have a look on Amazon as well, it's got some pretty good reviews. Uh, so yeah, I was pretty excited about it but do let me know if you have seen this one because I don't know a massive amount about it. Like I said, I heard an advert on Spotify for it and then I saw it in the shop and thought, oh, I'd forgotten about that, didn't realise it came out today. So I did pick up a bonus one. So if anyone actually did guess Ghost Stories, you'll obviously get a point as well. I feel like I didn't see many people talking about it in the comments, but I'm going to have a look over them now, and then we'll see who, who guessed correctly. Okay, so here is the spreadsheet for this week. We have Spooner Mum, who guessed correctly. Thomas, who guessed correctly as well. Shuffling down, we've got Ben and David both guessed correctly. And then we've got George Boyce 10. Shuffling down more, we have Alison who guessed correctly and is on four because um, of course she guessed correctly last week and was the only correct guesser so she's currently in the lead with four. Shuffling down even more, we have um, Jack guessed correctly and then at the bottom here we have Wayne, Chloe, Mellow Yellow Submarine and Miles Edwards all also guessed correctly this week. So well done if you guessed correctly and now let's head back to the other me. Okay, so well done if you guessed correctly, that is awesome. Now there was, ma the majority of people did guess um, the Guernsey, you know, whatever it's called. Um, but then there was a couple of people who guessed that one and Tully. And then there wasn't actually anybody who guessed Ghost Stories. So I thought that that was interesting. Obviously, if you guessed the 
that one and Tully, then I haven't kind of given the point because you kind of guess multiple ones. So it was, um, yeah, so that's, you know, I think sometimes that's confusing. But yeah, so no one guessed ghost stories. So I thought that was kind of surprising. Uh, but maybe has anyone heard about it or talked about it? I know that Chloe Anna mentioned it in the comments. She was like, you know, these are the movies that are coming out next week. But I think you're going to pick up the Guernsey Literary Potato Society. Um, so yeah, I thought it was interesting. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of all the ones that have come out this week. Now next week, okay, I feel like we've already given away a thing for next week, so I'm just going to talk about it because it was a given that I was going to pick it up. Sainsbury's are advertising that if you pick up Avengers Infinity War, so you know, Avengers Infinity War is coming out next week, we've kind of spoiled it, but if you do pick up Avengers Infinity War, you get a little grouped keychain, so I'm super excited about that. Really want to pick up the little, get a little grouped keychain. I'm sure that there'll be like a limited amount. Um, so if you are picking up the movie, I would recommend checking out Sainsbury's to see if you can get a little group keychain. That's definitely what I'm going to be doing and I'm really excited about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so they were advertising it this week which I thought was good to give you kind of a head of, like a head chance because I think otherwise I might have gone later in the day and I might have not, uh, you know, I might have missed it and not picked it up and not grabbed it in time. Um, so yeah, just want to let you guys know as well in the video so that if you are interested in that you can kind of pick up a Sainsbury's and plan ahead a little bit. But there is something else that I'm picking up next week. So obviously I'm picking up Avengers Infinity War and then one other. So there's two movies for next week. So let me know your guesses down in the comments below. Now there's actually three movies coming out next week. Um, obviously one of them we know. And then the other two I thought were both interesting. But one of them I was going to hold off on. But I'm not sure which of the two that everyone's going to guess. Um, so I don't know. So there's two that I'm picking up next week. One of them is Avengers Infinity War, so don't get confused that there's that and two others. It's just two, including that one. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys will pick as the guesses. Um, and then obviously next month, next month, next week starts September. There's quite a lot of interesting movies coming out in September. Quite a lot of big releases that I've been waiting for. Um, so yeah, I've been really looking forward to that month. And that is pretty much it for this video. So thumbs up if you enjoyed Money Movie Hunting. Let me know in the comments down below on the Guernsey Literary Society, Ghost Stories and Tully. I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!